Good, good morning. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. It's absolutely, well and truly, bloody bree breezing. See? Freezing. I just had to say, uh, I wish I had gloves on, and I remembered what I'd done to my gloves yesterday. So yeah, that happened. So if I lose my fingers, just uh, send them back to me in the post. I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, today's a busy one. Quite a lot planned. I'll throw the daily vlog. See, this is how much I can move my fingers. <laughs> I'm a bit of a mess this morning, as you can probably tell. Don't mind a bit more. There we go. Gets yeah, a bit more light in here. It's another wonderful day. Uh, here at the house. Uh, today I'm going to be answering some of your questions uh, that you've been asking me uh, overnight. Let's see which ones I get. Okay, number one comes from Ali. She says, uh, what's your biggest goal? Okay, wow, this is quite a big question. As some of you may know, I want to like kind of take my directing career um, further into the industry. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's a really hard one. Uh, obviously, it would be wonderful to win an Oscar. That would be, um, that's, that's really, that's way up there. Biggest goal, wow. I think at the moment my biggest goal is to make a feature length and uh, I'm working on that, you know, every day uh, and it takes a bloody, bloody long time. <laughs> next question. Okay, next question comes from Taylor and it's why did you start YouTube? It's all kind of started when I was doing acting. Uh, I was on an agency. I tried so, so hard. I have so many auditions. Um, <laughs> it just didn't work out. I just didn't really get many jobs. I used to get to the, the final stages uh, I always like with my iPod. I was making stop motion stuff and always recording myself doing dumb stuff and little skits. Side so of me wanting to do acting and then not being able to, so I made my own stuff that I could act in, and then then I kind of fell in love with the making of them. So I created my own stories and I wrote I wrote a lot a lot of stuff when I was younger. So so you may be wondering what am I doing with the rest of my day? Kind of anything I want. Actually, I have quite a bit to edit, so I have to send off some videos to people. I have to you know, submit some stuff. So I said, I said in the last vlog that I was going to start reading The Trial by Kafka. I still haven't really procrastinating on this one, guys. Like, I can, I can dance in time, but with music, I just can't do it. I can't find the timing. Like, that's why I'm awful, I'm awful at drumming. Right, I actually just realised that it's April Fool's today, so I, I, I really want to do something. Right, okay, here's the idea. I'm going to pose as a fisherman on Instagram, uh, maybe something called um, John's Fish Market. And I'm going to message three of my friends that have been carefully picked out and selected by me. And where's my phone? Where is my phone gone? Hello? Oh, it's on my bed. And I'm going to be asking them if they want any fish. I know a cracking prank, Max. Right, let's start creating this, creating this account. There we go. <laughs> John M's Fish Market. Right, okay, I found this brilliant picture of Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> it's a bit risky. Using a celebrity. Right, let's do a bit of work to the, to the account. I might, I might post a couple of posts. I'll come back to you when I have it in a better state. It's starting to shape up. I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. As a, do you, do you want to have a bit of a pizzazz about him? Let's make it look semi more professional. John M's Fishmongers, business located off the coast of Portsmouth, delivering the highest quality fish. Do a post and I'm going to follow some accounts. Maybe it'll make it look a bit more full. So basically, I uh, followed some general accounts to do a fishing. Okay, so uh, John's about to make his first Instagram post. Right, there we go. Uh, quarantine day nine, all fine. This is a picture of a fine catch before the lockdown. Can't wait to get back. Uh, this is my first post on Instagrams. LOL. Thank you, John. Wonderful. There we go. So John is officially live. John's about to send his first DM. Right, let's see what this uh, Gordon Ramsay face fisherman can uh, contact people with. Right, okay. Let's copy that. I'm going to send it to a few other people I know. I'll get back to you if they respond. Right, that is all messages sent. Now I play the waiting game. It's words, words, words. Oh my god, we got him. He, uh, he posted this on his private story. It's 12.42. I sent the message two hours ago. Oh, this is brilliant. Right, at least he's nice to say. Hey Josh, right buddy? Do you think you're gonna message back? What's his name? The fish, the fish, the lobster guy. You're not gonna message him back? Right, so, I'm back. Uh, it's been quite a long time. <laughs> it's, it's kind of been a success. Only one has actually fully responded. Josh didn't end up responding, it really annoyed me. I, after all the convincing I tried to do, Joe was suspicious, but I had a, I think I'm gonna try and continue this for as long as I can. So Joe said, no, sorry mate, I don't really have much use for that much lobster. I was like, why? And he said, I don't really like seafood, to be honest. Oh, so he said he's rather salmon or cod, right? <laughs> I think he knows it's a joke, but I don't think he knows it's me. Um, but yeah, let's try and keep this 
uh, April Fool's Day joke going. So without further ado, I'm going to uh, be ending the vlog here today. If you're new around here, subscribe. I just had a new documentary come out today and the response has been absolutely booming. I'm so happy about that. I can't wait to check out the messages. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow. See you guys. And goodbye. Uh, de definitely Bill Murray is definitely a time traveller, I'd say. Who else? Edwin Norton, maybe. Timothy Chalamet is definitely a time traveller.